Welcome to our lecture online and now we're going to take a look at a slightly more complicated example of how to sum two trig functions together and get to summation of that. So here you can see the black line represents y equals the cosine of 2x. 2 remember that's the k value there which means that the oscillations occur twice as fast. There will be two complete sections of the cosine wave so uh, in there will be one complete section of cosine wave per pi or two for a distance of two pi right there so you can see there's two complete sections on the cosine uh, function and on the sine function it's um, k is equal to one but the amplitude is two that means uh, when it reaches maximum or minimum value it will be equal to two rather than one now we have to add those two together so we can set up a table and set up a number of values for x and for each value of x we have a value for the cosine a function, a value for the sine function, and we simply add them together. Or we can do it graphically, which is uh, pretty easy to do if we just take our time doing it here. Notice when the angle is 0, the sine function is 0 and the cosine function is 1. So when we add 1 and 0 together, we get a point right there. Notice that at this point right here where they cross, the cosine function is slightly less than 1. The sine function is slightly less than 1 at that point. So when we add it together, we get something less than 2 right there. Notice where at pi over 4 the cosine function is 0 and the sine function is halfway to its maximum value that would be like at 45 degrees which would be the 0.707 times 2 which is 1.4 so we'd be down just a little bit right there. At the value for pi over 2 notice that the cosine function is negative 1 and the sine function is 1 so we add it together we get 1 over here at 3 pi over 4, notice that the cosine function is 0, the sine, the sine function is something slightly larger. Over here, you simply add these together, that will be about uh, slightly less than 1, slightly less than 1, so maybe about like this. And over here, you're back to 1. Over here, you're down to this point right there. And over here, you have a negative 1 and negative 2 added together, gives you a negative 3. So now when we connect those points together, you have something that looks like this. Okay, continuing on, when we get back over to this point, notice that this is 0 and this is about minus 2, roughly speaking. Over here, this is 0 and this is plus 1. Over here, you add these two together, you get about this value right there. Over here, this is 0 and this is that value right there. And over here, this is minus 1, this is plus 2, so you're back to a value of 1. So if we continue connecting these dots, you get something that looks like this. And you can see that there's some sort of periodicity, like this, and it will just continue like that forever as you add the two functions together. So again, this is an approximate graph of the sum of the two together. If you want an exact graph, what you want to do is set up a table of values. So you set up an x, then you set up the cosine of 2x, and then you set up 2 times the sine of x, and you go like this. If x is equal to 0, the cosine of 2x, 2 times 0 is still 0, that would be 1, and the sine of 0 would be 0. And then let's say you go at uh, pi over 4, that would be 45 degrees. At 45 degrees, the cosine of 2 times that, well, 2 times 45 is 90, the cosine of 90 is 0, and the sine of 45 degrees is the square root of 2 over 2, which is 0.707 times 2 would be 1.4. Then you go pi over 2, that is at 90 degrees. Cosine of 90 degrees times 2, that's 180 degrees. Now we're at minus 1. And sine of 9 degrees is 1 times 2 would be 2. And when you add them together, that would be the sum when you add them together, you get 1, you get 1.4, you get 1, and you just continue like this. So 3 pi over 4, that would be at 135 degrees. Twice that would be 270 degrees. The cosine of 270 is 0. The sine of, of 135 is the square root of 2 over 2 times 2. That would be 1.4. Add it together, you get 1.4. And then you just go ahead and grab those points, and you end up with roughly the same grab that we have over here. If you want more fidelity, more accurate, then you put some points in between. For example, you may try pi over 8, and then 3 pi over 8, and get some in-between values, and then you get a more accurate graph in the end when you sum them together. But that's how we do that. So the graphical one is 
usually enough to get a feel of what it looks like. If you want more accurate values, then of course you put it in the table and you plug in enough points in there until you get a very accurate picture of what it actually looks like. But the red line here is pretty close to the real thing. And that's how we do that.